broadcasting live from an undisclosed location for their own protection. It's the talk of San Diego. Mallory with the Talk of San Diego. We're here today with Christy from Pacifica Pilates. Christy, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us um, a little bit about your business, when you got started, um, what got you into it? Um, so, my name is Christy and um, I actually come from a background of ballet. So, I went to college at University of Utah. I studied ballet performance there. I got uh, my bachelor's degree there uh, in ballet performance actually and in that program I started doing Pilates and the teachers um, incorporate that into our program so that's when I was first introduced to it and then since then I just had it kind of off and on been uh, practicing it learning a little bit more about it over time and then when I moved to San Diego for a job in a ballet company uh, with San Diego Ballet Company um, I started taking more classes with Pilates and then a lot of my friends in ballet actually were teaching so I got interested in possibly teaching from them and then one of the girls that I danced with actually owned her own Pilates studio and she had a certification program so she did the training program I decided to do that and, and try out teaching and I've been uh, teaching for about four years now oh wow um, yeah and I, I really love it so and I actually kind of have retired from ballet um, it, that happens in ballet even when you're young you end up having to kind of stop because it kind of messes up your body sometimes a little bit you got a lot of injuries and everything and um, Pilates was just a great way for me to transition you know into something else where I'm still active and keeping in shape but uh, not not quite as hard on the body as the ballet <laughs> okay so, yeah I heard um, ballet is not only hard on your body but very hard on your toes is that true? <laughs> yes it can be it can be pretty painful because you're putting your feet into the, these point shoes which are very hard and kind of constricting and you get blisters and they get swollen and you're just putting a lot of pressure on your joints and everything so yeah it's hard on the on the body and the toes as well well a little bit about uh, ballet before we move on to Pilates I was always wondering if there's a certain body type you have to have for ballet or can anyone do ballet um I guess I mean the body type that's most preferred is going to be um somebody with long legs a really nice arch in their foot um, someone who's naturally has kind of slender body type, um, but in general, I mean, if you're if you have good coordination, you're kind of graceful, um, you can balance pretty well, and you're able to pick things up fast and keep nice lines when you're dancing, then um, I would say most people could definitely try dancing. I don't know about dancing professionally; that's a whole other story. <laughs> it's pretty hard. It's very competitive. There's a lot of dancers out there, um, but yeah, it's a great thing to at least do for fun and enjoyment and. Beautiful, so I've always loved it for that. Yeah, I think it's very beautiful as well. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Pilates? Um, you know, what what style is it exactly? Um, well, Pilates is a method of exercise developed by a man named Joseph Pilates, actually, um, and he kind of developed a system of, of exercising where you're using spring tension. So it's resistance training. Um, so you're working the muscles in two different directions. You're creating long, lean muscles, and you're, um, you're working on core strength, balance, flexibility, coordination. And it's just a really great, great way of working out and not getting really bulky. And also, you don't put a lot of pressure on your joints, which is great. Because a lot of workouts, you end up, if you're doing weight training, things like that, you can bulk up a lot of the time. And a lot of people have lots of injuries and other things. So this is actually kind of rehabilitative. There's a rehabilitative element to it where you're strengthening the body, but you're not, you know, putting excess pressure and things like that on your joints. So it's a great way to work out, stay toned and lean. And if you want that kind of dancer look, that's what a lot of people want to go for, not so much of the bulk. Um, yeah, and a lot of core strength. That's one of the great things about Pilates. You get strong. Do you ever use Pilates as any kind of rehabilitation for people with injuries? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I have probably the majority of people coming in working with me have either had an injury in the past or have one currently, so it's something that definitely we kind of factor in. It's not the same thing as necessarily going to physical therapy, but there are elements that are kind of, it's kind of like using physical therapy with a really good workout. That's what I love about it. So you're working on strengthening areas that are weak, um, fixing like imbalances with the different muscles in the body, trying to even things out a little bit and just building strength. 
and um, you're also just getting toned and looking better and feeling better as well. So, anyway, yeah, that's, <laughs> and that's the main thing. How, um, do you offer private or group classes? I do, I offer both. Um, mostly private sessions is what I do, um, but I do have group classes, uh, up to six people in a group class, and I offer a few different ones uh, during the mornings and then a couple at night during the week. Um, and then I do a lot of private sessions and also semi-private sessions, which is like two people coming in and people want to share a session. So, yeah, so I have a variety, pretty much everything. Due to time constraints, we move ahead in our program. Wait, wait, let me let me explain something to you. Um, I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. The Talk of San Diego would like to remind the audience that this is Breast Awareness Month, and we here at the Talk of San Diego are doing our part for this very important cause. Are you looking for style, grace, and comfort? Then Sofa King San Diego has the answer. Sofa King San Diego has thousands of styles to choose from. With name brands from around the world, Sofa King San Diego is the place to go when it's time for a change. With locations throughout San Diego, it's Sofa King easy to find us. Sofa King San Diego can provide payment plans to meet just about everyone's budget, and that makes buying Sofa King easy. So remember, we're not just Sofa King, we're Sofa King San Diego. Just go to SofaKingSanDiego.com. Now open in Descanso. The Talk of San Diego, the only TV show to win an Oscar. $10 Mall, it has it all. That's right, $10 Mall has it all, and all for under $10. We've got men's, we've got women's, we've got kids, and accessories galore. Makeup, scarves, watches, and all, that's right, under $10. So check it out. Go to $10mall.com now and start saving today. And be sure to tell a friend and earn extra bonus points. Remember, $10 Mall has it all. I'm here with Christy from Pacifica Kalani's. So Christy, we did talk about group classes earlier. I would like to know the group classes. Are they large classes, small classes? How are they? Um, so the, the classes are a pretty small size. I have six reformers in the studio that we use for the classes. And um, so I only have up to six people in a class. Sometimes it's less people than that. Um, but yeah, I try to really offer um, just kind of a, a close atmosphere where people feel like they're getting, you know, watched and corrected and paid attention to. And I mean, I have a variety of people coming in and taking classes and they're not all the same. They all have different issues going on, injuries, things like that. So I'm always trying to pay attention and kind of cater and tailor the classes to people coming in. I'll literally look at the schedule some days and say, okay, these people are coming in, I'm going to do this, I'm not going to do that, I'm gonna make sure this one's okay in this position. And so that kind of thing, whereas I've, I've been other places where it's not quite like that. It's just kind of like taking the class without all the attention and everything. So I try to make sure that I do that. Yeah. And what all is involved in a performance class? Is everything um, done on the floor or do you have a sheet? Um, it's both. Uh, Pilates was originally developed as mat exercises and then Joseph Pilates, who developed Pilates, um, created the reformer and some other pieces of equipment that we now use quite a bit in Pilates. Um, he actually created the reformer so that people that had a hard time doing the mat exercises would be able to get stronger and he kind of um, held into the positions a little bit better as they were getting stronger and growing and learning and then be able to do the mat exercises but um, the reformer is a really great tool to be able to get stronger so most studios these days do offer uh, the reformer classes and I like to integrate my classes a little bit of mat and a little bit of reformer so I kind of switch it around because there's a lot of great mat exercises too but for the majority of the time we're working on the reformer. You know you learn something every day I had no 
idea if you want to even involve machine. <laughs> it does, the reformer, it reforms you. <laughs> exactly how it sounds. Well, I definitely want to try that out. <laughs> um, what are your hours, your times? Um, when can people come see you? Um, at this point right now, I'm open during the week, uh, Monday through Friday. About The hours kind of fluctuate depending on who wants to come in when. Uh, I do a lot of private sessions, but um, I usually am open from about 6 a.m. until 8 or 8.30 p.m. at night. Ooh, 6? Yeah. <laughs> Six a.m. People that want to come in for work and get their workout in. So yeah, that's great. I'm in there early. <laughs> and um, what are your prices like? Are they um, competitive, or do you appreciate money? <laughs> <laughs> well, we all do to some degree, <laughs> but I do try to keep a good rate where it's not, you know, that I qualities can be all over the place. It can be there's a lot of higher, more expensive rates. I try to keep it a little bit lower than that because I know that people don't, you know, they don't want to break the bank coming in for a workout. But um, yeah, my rates vary. For privates, uh, around 55 65 for an hour. Some privates, where two people share a session, it's about 35 40 And then the group classes are $20 each. Oh, wow. The group classes sound better. <laughs> a little bit cheaper. So then you have to yeah. sit there and elbow everybody in the room. <laughs> That's true. And um, if, if people want to come by and check out your studio, see what you got there, um, how do they get in touch with you? Where can they find you? Um, so the studio is located on Judicial Drive. Uh, it's part of the La Jolla Crossroads uh, apartment community there and it's right above where the gym their gym is um, and if people want to get in touch with me they can give me a call email me um, or come stop by best to call or email though and my website is www.pacificapilates.com um, and I just wanted to mention too that I offer a new client special for anyone who's coming in buy one don't for their first session first two sessions and then if they buy a package after that a process of session is 20% off so, uh, yeah, and if anyone watching this show uh, comes in if they mention that they watch uh, it gives them another 10% off okay. no. <laughs> sounds great Yeah, all kinds of specials all going on <laughs> come in and get like 60% off Woo. Yeah. Do you, do you have any Groupons out there? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I might. <laughs> and then after you uh, work out, you can just go down to the beach, right? Yeah, exactly. Take not, a little breathing. Not bad. Yeah, <laughs> good area there. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, Christy. It was a pleasure Thank talking you. to you today, learning a little bit about, about Pilates. Uh, we're going to head on out here. This has been Mallory and Christy with the Top of San Diego. Stay tuned for National Lampoon's Amish Vacation, right after a word from our sponsor. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Are you tired of wearing glasses, fall asleep too many times in your contacts, or are you finally ready to see the world as crystal clear as God intended? Well, why not make this year the year you give yourself or a loved one the ultimate gift, the gift of perfect vision, Yes, perfect vision to see things just as crystal clear as can be. Free to go swimming, play golf, tennis, and not have to worry about your glasses or contacts. Only the Matwani LASIK Institute is equipped with the most modern, up-to-date lasers the world has to offer. And with over 14 years' experience in San Diego, Dr. Matwani is one of the most respected and knowledgeable surgeons in the field of refractive surgery. So why spend another day fumbling with glasses, putting solutions and plastic in your eyes, or stretching your arm just as far as you can to read the menu? Call Dr. Matwani today for a free consultation to see if you're a candidate for his truly life-changing procedure. Call 877-89-LASER. That's 877-89-LASER. Mention the talk of San Diego and receive our internet special. San Diego. We're here with 
Stasia and Matt. Stasia is the director of events for the Lunar New Year Festival, and Matt is the entertainment coordinator. Stasia, I wanted to ask you a question to start off. Um, could you tell us about this event going on? What it is? Um, you know, I don't know anything about it. So, okay, sure thing. So this is the second annual Lunar New Year Festival that takes place in Kearney Mesa. Uh, what the Lunar New Year is is that um, the Asian New Year is on two different sets of calendars. There's the solar and the lunar. So this is the lunar new year. And this year it takes place on February 8th, 9th, and 10th. Um, there are going to be about 15 to 20,000 people. Wow. I know, it's going to be off the hook. Uh, <laughs> and it takes place in the Carney Mesa Park, which is right next to Mesa College. So we have amazing teachers that are going to be there. It's the only carnival besides the Del Mar Fair that has carnival rides. We'll have 16. Um, we'll have live concerts, which uh, Matt will talk about in a minute, uh, about 35 hours worth. We'll have live lion dances, uh, which are traditional, firecracker shows. Um, let's see. Uh, we have over 100 vendors, so we are actually looking for more vendors. We're looking for food vendors, corporate vendors, uh, arts vendors, uh, people selling, of course, so um, we'd love to hear from the public on that about, uh, you know, anyone who might be interested. Um, we're going to have an Asian food, more or less like cook-off, so we're going to have the public vote on which Asian food they like the best, and then we will name um, that restaurant or catering company as uh, the number one for the Lunar Festival uh, 2013. Okay. okay. Uh, we're also going to have a talent competition, which is going to be the first ever San Diego's most talented. So, we are looking for talented people. Um, this is a great platform for people to be seen. We want kids, we want adults, teenagers, um, you know, whoever. Right now, <laughs> uh, we, we want dancers, singers, performers. You have a weird talent, bring it on, <laughs> you know? So uh, we need those submissions, and we're taking everything right now. We're also looking for corporate sponsors. So anyone who might be interested in being involved with this, uh, this is a great platform as well. Uh, the Asian demographic is the fastest growing demographic in San Diego. Um, so this is a great way to get involved in that. Okay, great. And Matt, would you like to tell us a little bit about the entertainment you guys are going to be providing? Yeah, sure. As uh, Stacia mentioned, we're going to have uh, a bunch of live bands spanning across all different genres. Um, you know, the focus is definitely going to be on uh, Asian uh, bands in the San Diego community, but we're also going to do bands that you know don't have any type of Asian influence as well. We want to kind of have something for everyone and try to bring together people not just in the Asian community but outside the Asian community as well. So we're going to have uh, live bands uh, that play rock music. Um, we're going to have uh, we have a great uh, female quartet, or if you want to call it that, uh, they uh, they do, they're called Eleve, they're performing Saturday night at 8 o'clock, they do kind of hip-hop, soul, R&B, four beautiful women, they have great voices, they're very talented, they're up and coming, they'll be performing. We're also going to have some uh, dance groups too, um, DJs, and we're going to try to involve uh, local colleges and high schools in the area to really, again, bring the community together and have people of all ages uh, be able to enjoy this. Oh, that sounds great. So anyone of any age can join. It doesn't matter. If, if the, I've seen some pretty talented five-year-olds on YouTube. Let me tell <laughs> oh, you. Are yeah. they allowed to join? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and that's what I want, is I want the YouTube submission. Awesome. Yes. Okay, and um, Stasia, do you want to tell us a little bit more about where this event is going to take place. How are you going to be able to house 15 to 20,000 people? Well, the park is huge and it's gorgeous. So, um, it's right next to Mesa College, directly next to it. There's ample parking, it's very convenient. Um, hopefully, the sky is going to be bright and sunny and it's going to be just a ton of fun. Um, yeah, oh, we also have free interactive 
games, uh, toy booths, arts and crafts for kids. So that's going to be great. Um, the ticket prices are very low. It's only five, uh, $4 for kids, $5 for adults. Uh, very reasonable and you definitely get a ton of entertainment uh, for that price. All right, great. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about the vendors and what type of vendors we're, we plan on having. So everyone stay tuned. This is Mallory with the Talk of San Diego. Great, thanks. That guy in a little coat. Next time you're in town, make sure you stop on at Frosty Chicken. Yes! Frosty Chicken for the coldest, tastiest chicken town. From white meat chicken parfaits to dark meat chicken smoothies. It's Frosty Chicken. Remember, if it's not Frosty Chicken, it's just not frosty enough. Before eating in any Frosty Chicken restaurants, be sure to check with your physician for any allergic reactions you or your family members may be susceptible to. Common symptoms to Frosty Chicken include, but not limited to, nausea, vomiting, temporary blindness, severe loss of hearing, nosebleeds, rapid heart rate, seizure, limited paralysis, and mood changes. So come on down to Frosty's. It's Frosty Good. Everybody, we are back here. This is Mallory with the Talk of San Diego. We are here with Stasia and Matt. We are going over the Lunar New Year Festival that we're going to have this year, and I'm getting very excited about it. I'm looking forward to going. I heard there's going to be a lot of people there, a lot of fun things to do, entertainment, and a variety of things for kids, adults, teenagers. So, Stasia, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about the sponsorship packages that you were telling me about earlier? Yes, this is going to be one of the biggest uh, parties of San Diego in the history of the world. So, <laughs> I just want to dominate the I, world. This, I just want to get that in there, okay? So everyone knows. Okay, so we are still looking for sponsors, um, and we offer a variety of different sponsorship packages. We can even do customized TV commercials and radio commercials. Um, we make banners. We um, are advertising in newspapers and magazines. So it's definitely a ton of exposure um, and marketing for anyone who signs on with us. We are most importantly looking for a title sponsor. We would like to have a business where we name this festival after them. And, um, and so, you know, it would be your business, Lunar New Year Festival. Um, so that, that would be uh, a great thing we're looking for that. Um, what else? But, oh, for, so for this title sponsor, tell me a little bit more about it. Um, how do these people apply for that um, particular that particular title? I mean, it seems like a big, big deal. So, you know, huge. is it a competition? What do these people have to do to, to get their business as the title of this event? I mean, that's a huge deal. Well, it's almost first come, first serve. There's only one person uh, or company that can make it, and so I need those submissions because I also want to get their name on absolutely everything everything that we're doing. So I need I need to uh, get those submissions. Now people can email me at Stacia, S-T-A-C-I-A dot E-M-S at Gmail. That will be on your website. Um, and we'll mention that again at the end of the program. But that's, that's me and contact me. Okay, well that sounds like a very big deal, guys. So get those submissions in. We may do the same, right, Johnny? <laughs> All right, um, so the next thing I want to ask you about is the tread traditional dress pageant that you guys are going to have. Do you want to explain that to me a little bit? Yes, it's actually something very special and it's called the v Miss Vietnamese Traditional Dress Pageant. It's the first ever and uh, the girls basically go through all kinds of coaching on how to be a beauty contestant, how to do public speaking. Um, it's really an amazing thing for the girls. Um, and then after they are, you know, picked, um, they go around just like any beauty contestant would, would do, and uh, they make TV appearances and radio commercials, or radio appearances, maybe we can even have one of the girls on here. Um, 
So it's really a great thing, and they win a prize. But um, all of the dresses are handmade specifically for them. So oh, wow. it will be gorgeous. Great. I hear y'all are also doing some fundraising. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. Well, um, there are a couple different fundraising components for churches or for um, uh, schools. We are offering uh, that they can do pre-sale tickets and group sale tickets, and they can actually keep a portion of the um, of the funds. So that's a great yeah, that's a great fundraiser for them. Um, also, 10% of the proceeds go toward the Little Saigon Foundation, okay. and the uh, Saigon Foundation is revitalizing um, the soon-to-be Little Saigon district in San Diego, and they're going to be rehabbing it and it will be an official B&B village uh, instruction. So it's going to be awesome. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And um, if anyone wants to apply to be a sponsor or a vendor or any kind of entertainment, how can any of these people um, get in touch with you or submit their work to you? Okay. Well, um, any of them can basically get in contact with me, again, at Stacia, S-T-A-C-I-A dot E-M-I at Gmail, or they can go to last year's website, because we're having an entirely new website built for this year, and it's still under construction, almost ready. Last year's website was Party Mesa Festival, so they can go to that, um, or they can go to, it's very soon, uh, the new website, which will be Lunar New Year Fest at EST.com. And that'll also uh, have the schedule for the entertainment. We're still booking uh, some bands and uh, performers, so in the next you know couple weeks or so, the whole schedule should be up there. Okay. Y'all, well, you heard them. They are accepting submissions for entertainment, uh, vendors, sponsors. So if you're interested, go ahead and email Stacia. She's um, very interested in receiving your emails here. Um, we are here with Stacia, Director of Events, and Matt, the Entertainment Coordinator. We are done for today. Um, come out um, to the Lunar New Year Festival. It's February 8th, 9th, and 10th. They are expecting a huge crowd. It's going to be a lot of fun, like I said. We are here today at the Randy Jones Sports Grill broadcasting. So um, if you get a chance this weekend, come out here. They have some great food. Um, they have pool tables, which I did not know until today. So come out, play some pool. It's a really fun place to be. Um, very relaxed, great crowd here. I love the bartender, Wes. Shout out for Wes. <laughs> we are here today. We are done. Um, this is Mallory with the Talk of San Diego, and we will see you guys next time. Utilizing medical doctors, physical therapists, and chiropractors all working together to better your health, Silver Strand Spine and Sport is committed to providing the most personalized, integrative, and skilled physical therapy services available. With sensitivity and compassion, we work with our patients to promote physical rehabilitation in a professional and caring environment. Located on Palm Avenue in Imperial Beach, we offer South Bay the finest care for all your physical needs. For an appointment, call 619-575-8888. The Talk of San Diego would like to correct a statement made earlier by one of our guests. On our segment entitled, Fire Safety Begins at Home, Chief Henderson suggested that we keep all oily rags in a pile in a poorly ventilated area of your garage, storage area, or porch. Since that broadcast, it has been brought to our attention that the information given to us by Chief Henderson was incorrect and that Chief Henderson, in reality, is not associated with any firefighting organization whatsoever. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. On a side note, the talk of San Diego is looking for a new fact checker for the show. When it's time to choose a photographer for your upcoming wedding, family affair, or portrait setting, you hope you're choosing someone that will capture every memorable moment of this most important day with pride, professionalism, and perfection with results you can be proud of. With years of experience, Malone B Photography prides themselves on delivering an outstanding package at a price that will fit just about everyone's budget. So if your precious moments are important to you, why settle for less? Don't you deserve the best? To set up a free appointment, go to MalonB.com. That's MalonB.com.
Brady Jones All-American Sports Grill, conveniently located in Hazard Center in beautiful Mission Valley. When it's time to relax and have fun with friends, family, or co-workers, Randy Jones All-American Sports Grill. You'll have an All-American great time. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. The management of the Talk of San Diego would like to apologize for the Talk of San Diego. Oh, and Don, honey, I'll be home soon.